Superfly. This is not how you play the game. 63, I qualify as a sugar daddy. Yeah, that's... Name a way a witness might describe a bank robber that could make the detective think it was Steve Harvey. He was bald. He was bald. That kind of question will surely invite crazy answers. And some people will definitely give answers that are way too far, just not to lose. We're gonna play. Thank you. Let's play. Name a way a witness might describe a bank robber that can make the detective think it was Steve Harvey. He had a mustache. He had yeah. a mustache. The people surveyed developed a serious crush on the bank robber. For them to be using phrases like legendary stash, hilarious, and fine chocolate skin. Christine? Well, we all know that you wear some nice suits. Good yeah. I doubt if anyone will take the time to notice a nice suit on a bank robber. <laughs> Boy, this is gonna be good right here. Let's see what he has for us. Come on, man, tell me what it is. Drove off in a nice car. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a dumb idea. Oh, uh, Angel, only one strike. Uh, he was telling jokes. Good answer. A bank robber cracking jokes? Come on, it's up to Maria now. Uh, he had a great smile. Good answer. I'm about to rob your bank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Steve demonstrated how terrible that is. He said smile. Eddie, only one yes, strike, sir. buddy. He was a handsome black man. <laughs> Eddie has gone too far now. That shouldn't be there, right? A black dude? Black dude! <laughs> I'm gonna think outside the box and say maybe you were holding a microphone. Good answer. Yeah. Oh. Taj, be careful. The goalie family can steal. He's loud. Oh. <laughs> Steve is definitely not gonna be happy with that. He was loud. Oh. All right, family. Name a way a witness might describe. They better not drop another bomb on him. Detective think it was Steve Harvey, Miss Shirley. Nice tall man. He was tall! <laughs> that part that he was a black man was risky. They took the risk and it paid off. Let's check out the remaining answers on the board. Seven. Two, give me Dre, give me Carl. <laughs> Watch Joe Coy derail a family feud. Name a traffic sign a woman might say when a jerk at a bar says, what's your sign? Stop. Stop. Yeah. Hey, Gemma. Yield. Yeah. Looks like a lot of people don't say yield. Says, what's your sign? Slow down. Oh. Joseph? Yeah. Do you drive? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll be surprised if he gives a good answer. I mean, everybody expects him not to. Hopefully you're looking out the window. So. <laughs> Name a traffic sign a woman might say when a jerk at a bar says, what's your sign? I'm gonna say, go. go. That's surprisingly good. I don't think it'll be there though. <laughs> what? Oh. All right, we gotta be careful now. We got two strikes to Gaston family can steal. They're definitely not gonna play it safe now. Railroad. <laughs> railroad. railroad. It's a railroad. How did he even come up with that? I've heard a, a lady said that to me one time. <laughs> What's your name? She's like, train is crossing. <laughs> and uh, That's one way to get your answer from. It's up there, Steve. It's number six for sure. <laughs> oh. That's definitely not going to be up there. You have low expectations, yeah. that's good. <laughs> yeah. It's up there, Steve, is six. <laughs> oh, Being too early on the buzzer doesn't phase RuPaul. Instead, he improvises his own crazy question. Welcome back, Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. Give me RuPaul, give me Katie. Let's play. Watch the magic happen. Name a way a woman can flirt with a man without... Oh, I did it so fast, didn't I? <laughs> Name a way a woman can flirt with a man without... 
Oh, RuPaul, what have you done? Thinking that she's a whore. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking you're gonna say. He stood his ground and went ahead with it nevertheless. The answer is, it is um, by batting her eyelashes. This he better be correct. That's one way to get your name up there among the Family Feud elites. More ridiculous answers to come. So I guess she's gonna finish asking the question, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Carson, I've been in that situation so many times. I bet. Yeah. All right. Great job, by the way. Thank you. You're like psychic well, too. Maybe he should just host the show. Steve Harvey started considering retirement. No, I'm not wearing this damn suit yeah. no more. <laughs> this goes into <laughs> retirement right after this. I'm gonna put it in a glass case. This was the night I was toasted plum. At this point, I don't think they care about asking questions or answering them either. I don't, he got the number one answer. That's, That's why Ruse Weak eye bang him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. This is one hell of an episode. Here's the actual question. Name a way a woman can flirt with a man without making physical contact. How about smile? Okay. That was very wholesome. Okay, yeah. Michelle. What? She better demonstrate it. See a man. Mm -hmm. You want to make, you want to flirt with it. Give me the smile. I can't eye bang. Yeah, give me the yeah. smile. So you gotta. Oh yeah, that's it. It's time to introduce the next celebrity. Ladies and gentlemen, Carson Kressley. Yeah. He's back, he's one of the judges on RuPaul's Drag Race and he's one of the original Fab Five on Queer Eye. Yes, it's me. Check it out. Oh. Um, I've heard of this thing called sexting, where you send a sassy message on your phone. Oh. Mm. oh. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. There are some things you shouldn't say on Family Feud. These men went too far. You'll probably lose your marriage if you do so. This sexiest part of your wife. Her stomach. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Check what the next man said. At the end of your day, Marriage. It's not that funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there a lawyer in the house? Yeah. Watch Jenny going crazy on Family Feud. She's definitely getting banned now. Hey, you ain't gonna believe it, Jenny, but you did it. Give me two people right now. Hey, Jenny, Jenny's dream come true. She's gonna come over here on this side. Morning. There you go. Well, Trying to punish your spouse for cheating might get you stretching the punishment a bit too far. Crime, what's the punishment for cheating on your spouse? I heard to say castration. <laughs> to think that some people actually agree with that. <laughs> what's all the extra laughing about? <laughs> That's because she knows it's a crazy answer. Steve. All right, here we go. If the punishment fits the crime, what's the punishment for cheating on your spouse? The other gets to cheat too. That's what they call tit for tat. That's a lot of people that agree with him. Cheating on your spouse. Uh, I'm not as harsh, so I'm going to say sleeping on the couch. That's not a good answer. That's a punishment for a small disagreement. Spouse. Blast it to social media. Oh. We've got two strikes now, Miss Cheryl. What happens now? I would cry. You would cry. Crying can't be a punishment, can it? Steve, we're gonna go with hold back the sex. Yeah! Check out the rest of the answers on the board. Every STD. All of them? Number six. Three. 